All right, let's keep going. Man, I did like seven parts and I did only 30 minutes. This guy is a comedic, comedic genius. Like, I wish you were concerned. <laughs> let's listen to it one more time. <coughs> There's another build up, you know? In comedy, often the pun. What makes a great joke often is not really the punchline, but the build up what leads to the to the to the punch and that's why people pay for like one man routine and all that not necessarily because the text is really funny like if you read the text of a of a one man stand up it's not that funny you know but it's the build up it's the the, the fact that you're in the room all together with people and there's a guy and he practices act it's the body language it's the build up to the punchline that really makes great comedy sketch and that's why people still pay to go you know, for, for, for comedy shows. Why not on the internet? Why not watch it on the internet? It's all online. It's the build-up. And the build-up in that room, the way that he builds up to his ultimate joke. Let, let's look at it. I wish you was a counselor. <laughs> Did you see his face? Holy fuck, this guy. Let's deal with that. <laughs> I could watch this a thousand times and it always make me laugh. I wish you were a counselor. I need counseling to get on the internet. <laughs> I wish you were a counselor and not a cop. That way I wouldn't be going to jail. Because <laughs> I know you don't want to hear all this junk. Well, you know, I'd like to hear about these chats. Yeah, she's getting impatient now. With you having this fantasy, I can't help but believe in the first person you oh in. now she's serious. In. it is yeah of course it is no, I'm, being, I'm being serious I mean look at how he looks at her he's serious he never did that before it just happened the very first time he did that he got caught that, that's how it is you know the very first time the very first time that I, I ran a, a yellow light I got pulled over every time like the, the first time you get pulled over and then I, I, I told the cop sorry that's the first time that I run a yellow night a yellow light, sorry. He says, oh, it's your first time. I'll believe that. I completely believe that. Everybody gets caught on their first time. So he let me go. And she's going to do the same. She should say like, oh, it's your first time. Man, you were so unlucky, you know, to get caught on your first time. Exactly. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. Oh, I thought you were silly. Oh, that's the question. That, that girl... You know, I talk about her sexual preferences. It's too early, three minutes. People are still listening, but she knows where to stab to her. Like, so where do you find the child porn? I made it myself. My niece was staying over. Off of people, off the rooms. Oh. In, uh, adult rooms. What? What? It cut here, I think. They cut like a passage. Look at his, his leg position. Off of people, off the rooms. In, um, uh, Adult rooms. Something's missing. Something was removed. There's a conspiracy there, people. I think, I think that at this point he told something that he should not tell. She didn't move. Did you notice how she didn't move during the skip? But he did. Look, look at her. Adult room. Oh, she moved a little bit. Never mind, there's no conspiracy. But yeah, they cut it. Maybe maybe they changed the tape and they lost a little bit. But yeah, it still has the end. So that makes me think there's only a few seconds missing. Maybe he said the name of someone, like a senator. And that's why they cut it off. Like, oh shit, you can't say that. That guy is protected. That guy, that guy can, can do that stuff and you can't do anything about it because he's a senator. But you, on the other hand, doesn't have that luxury. But yeah, they, they cut it. That's crazy. You understand? Yeah, I'm trying. Well, let's try to find let's try to find what was missing how much of it was missing approximately all the people off the rooms in um, adult rooms you understand yeah I'm trying yeah there's a gap in the conversation a few lines I would say about two or three lines maybe like 10-20 seconds we move okay. well, I, just I don't want to rush I'm a 
<laughs> Why are you rushing? Why are you rushing, though? I don't want to rush you. Of course she wants to rush him. You can tell that she's impatient. You know, she's interviewed like a couple of pedos by now. And she's had her, you know, her bag is full for a while. She needs vacation. I like to think that this woman, she does this thing and then the bus says, and then you take two weeks vacation and you go uh, to Panama or somewhere or somewhere warm. So she's like, I need to finish that interview and then I can go on vacation. Thanks. Bouncing around in your head. Bouncing around in your head. You know. Just feel like... <laughs> I don't understand, fucker. So you knew it was wrong when you came here. You knew it was illegal. Not a good choice yes, to attempt to have sex with a kid. With a twelve-year-old. <laughs> yeah, I'm smart enough to read. I was smart enough to realize that it wasn't a good choice. Like, no, I thought it was a great decision. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I thought it was a, a great idea. Premeditation. But you came anyway. Because this fantasy just took over. Because I noticed you were a little nervous. <laughs> a little nervous? Yeah. A little nervous, sis? He's a little nervous, you say? It's just being there, thinking, wow, I'm going to get to live out this fantasy. <laughs> She's being like... She's painting like, wow, I'm going to get to live out that fantasies of raping a kid. <laughs> wow. You know, I, I would have said, you know what my fantasy is, John? I fantasize about going fishing on a lake or painting. <laughs> wow, I'm going to live that fantasy. <laughs> so what was it about it? The fantasy. Tell me about the fantasy. What was <laughs> the it? fantasy. <laughs> Tell me about Lord of the Ring. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they have to do it because it's police and they need to find exactly you know the facts what was he trying to do but to ask like both ways you were gonna give some she was gonna give some that's sickening I don't know how she can I don't know how she can do that be in the same room as him and ask that question I would be like dude this is gross oh, oh. And she asked like, both ways were you gonna give or Oh, I don't. I feel like listening to it again to make sure I understand his response. But no, fuck it. That was mine. But mine, okay. That was my fantasy. Receiving oral so sex. That was your intention. To yeah. give her oral yeah. sex. Mm. And you traveled from Benton to see. Now, what was her name? Crystal. Didn't she have a name that she gave you? Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a good name for someone who has a screen name about fairies, like Crystal. Like, you know. <laughs> it's a pretty name. Uh, yeah, it is a pretty name. It's original. So, John. You're telling me that you don't have any other minors that you're talking to? <laughs> minors. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ever been in trouble before? No. No uh, court appearances or anything like that? No, uh, my tags on my back of my car was out of fact. Oh, your tags on your cars were wrong? I wish she stood up and, and you know what? She stood back like, what? You monster? How could you do that? You're disgusting. Your tags on your cars were past, expired? And then she leaves like, you're a monster. <laughs> like, yeah, I went to court because my tags on my car were expired. That's horrible. So years ago. Mm -hmm. That's the only one I had to open. And she stands back. She lays back like, oh, wow. This guy is a serious criminal, you know? <laughs> His tags were expired. I guess I bet he was driving with expired tags. Oh wow, that's disgusting. You know what I mean? Registration. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah say hey, I can't think of the name of them, yeah. Yeah. My light was out, and they pulled me over for that. Oh! Yeah. That's two crimes. Your lights were out and your tags were expired. Two crimes in one. This guy is a serial offender. He's a repeat offender. Okay, we're going to forget about Crystal. It's not important. Let's talk about your lights that were out, you monster. <laughs> this is your driver's license from uh, Metropolis, Illinois. That's, that's where I used to live. I haven't got them changed over yet. So I had to go appear for that, and the judge told me, he said that um, if I go get these things taken care of, they'll dismiss it, you know, which they said that's the usual case on the first time. Thing, so that's what I did. I don't get it. We don't have that kind of shit here in Canada. If you drive to another province, it doesn't really, you know, you have a driving license, that's it. And it's pretty funny because my driving license is in French. And, you know, you go to the rest of Canada, nobody, well, almost nobody speaks French. So they don't really know. And I remember one time I was driving uh, more in the West because I worked there. I got pulled over and he asked for insurance and all that. And he couldn't, he couldn't read my insurance because it wasn't French. So he had no idea if the insurance was valid. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's valid. And I, you swear to me, yeah, yeah, it's valid. And it was. And the cop just let me go, didn't check. So if you go to the west of Canada and uh, you bring like a paper, like you are insured, like there's nothing they can do to, to say that it's fake. <laughs> like it's pretty crazy. So you had the wrong tags. You had a driving license from another state and you need to change when you move. That's interesting. You don't need to do that here. That's crazy. Are you ever around any young women? And you got arrested for that? Did he? No, I don't think he got arrested. I think he got a ticket or something like that. But that's crazy. Just for tags. <laughs> and little did he know, several years later, it was going to come back to haunt him, you know. During a police interview, <laughs> he would have to reveal that. <laughs> Young ladies? No. Uh, any family members? Well, we go to a family, like a gathering, but I mean, I'm not like constantly with them. You know, like... Around alone, no. Oh, he guessed it. He's smart. Oh no, she's not gonna say that. It's probably a good. I hope she not. I hope she's gonna say. I know she's not gonna say. It's probably a good idea that you're not alone around minors, because he kind of guessed the question. That guy is not stupid. I like to call him a retard, but that's a, that's the fourth or fifth time that he, he really guesses where she's going. Like any young females in your family. Well, at family gathering, but, but I'm not alone with them. I hope she doesn't say it's probably, you know, it's probably a good idea. If she says that, I'm going to be stunned. Like, that's going to be one of the best answers on the show. Around alone. No. Let's listen to all the exchange before we judge. No. Uh, any family members? Well, we go to a family, like a gathering, but I mean, I'm not like constantly with them. You know, like around alone. Hmm. Probably a good idea, isn't it? Oh no, no she didn't say that. She's so mean. It's probably a good idea that you're not alone around young girls. Oh, I, I was going to laugh because she's awesome to say that. <laughs> Did she really say that? She's fucking, I mean, she's right. I'm not saying she's wrong, but this is so mean. This is so mean. Imagine, imagine you're a guy. If you're a guy, and the cop goes to you and asks, "Hey, do you have any young females around you?" No, sir. No. Just in family gathering, but I, I'm not alone with them. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> She's so direct, you know. I remove what I said. I remove what I said. She's the worst, but not the worst. The meanest of the gang. She makes John Dudinsky look like a, a nice guy, like a, a, a guy that is nice with suspect. She's not aggressive. She's not like John Dudinsky. John Dudinsky got in Dustin's face and he was very insistent. And the mean cop is very like, he sounds not rude, but he sounds stiff. You know, he's very like, a, what, old, what age did she tell you she was? And he's very, not mean, angry, but very stern the way he talks, very straight. He doesn't take bullshit. Doesn't go into bullshit. He doesn't cajole his suspect. You know, the mean cop doesn't cajole the suspect. That woman, 
She is nice. She has a nice tone of voice. She brings us pride and she cares. Like, Dustin, I brought you a snack for your blood sugar. She acts nice. But when she talks, when she says something, she knows exactly what to say to be absolutely me. She can obliterate you just with her words. Not even the body language. Not even not even getting in your face or being rude or no, no, no. She just says the very few words that are the meanest. And she knows which word to say to obliterate someone. She's the best cop. She's the queen cop, the queen detective, I should say. But she definitely is the meanest of the gang. She can annihilate you with her words. She's extremely good at this. Let's listen to it one last time. Gathering, but I mean, I'm not like constantly with them, you know, like around alone. No, probably a good idea, isn't it? Wow, wow, wow. She basically told him, You're a sick pedo, and you would, and you wouldn't molest any kid that you come in contact with. She just destroyed him. Like, it's a good idea that you're not alone with kids, you sick pedo. Wow. When she wants to be mean, she can be much worse than John or Mean Cup. Oh, wow. This is, wow. Wow, that guy here. Imagine, oh, that's so mean. That's so mean. Well, well yeah, I was, family was never a, an issue with me. You know what I mean? I, I don't look at family like that. Oh, oh, you have fantasies, but not with family. You don't look at family like that. Like I don't look at my nieces like... Uh, <laughs> they're off limit, you know? I'm a pedo, but I'm a pedo with his code of honor. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I'm telling you, Caitlin Reed... She's super nice in appearance. She's super professional. She, she looks like the best, like the most devoted cop. But when she's pissed off, she can say the worst thing ever. I don't look at family like that. That's good. <laughs> That's good. You don't look at your family members like you could molest them. That's good, you know. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So... No. Oh, an intercourse? Yeah. No, I didn't do it. I wasn't going to do intercourse. I wasn't going to do intercourse. Just oral. Um, now, when you get online and chat, how did you prefer to do it? And you know, I'm thinking about it. One of the reasons, you know, intercourse leaves traces, you know? Okay, I'm disgusting, but that's the truth. Sexual intercourse with a 12 year old girl, it leaves proofs, it leaves evidence. I'm disgusting, I know, but that's what it is. Maybe that's why he just wanted oral. That doesn't leave any proofs. He can deny it. There's no hardcore evidence, you know? Fucking sick fuck. Fucking sick child molesting fuck. You know, I say she's the meanest, like she can be very mean, but believe me, I would be at least, at least as good as her if I was there. The thing I could say to that guy, honestly, no, not even. I couldn't say that stuff because I would be too disgusted to think straight and get an insult. If he was in front of me, I couldn't say that kind of stuff. Like, uh, it's probably a good idea that you're not around kids. <laughs> she is, the word is equanimity. She has equanimity. And that's, that's amazing. She's a pro. Okay, well, I mean, well, whenever I was reading through your chat, you, Oh, no, no, you don't say that to him. You like to be nude. Oh, yeah, he, he sent pictures of himself masturbating. He's that kind of guy. Oh, oh, this is gross. I, I'm going to stop here for now. Uh, I still have the afterthought of those pictures in mind. But she's very direct. I think she's very eager to finish again. But, oh, she's amazing. I love this agent. Fuck you, John Elliott. <laughs>